Right, what we're going to do is we're going to use this 100 watt solar panel which has been in my shed for quite a while. I was going to use it on the solar shed but I had enough. A 12 volt battery there which I've had knocking about. Solar charge controller, a timer and some LED lights and an old toolbox. Toolbox is for the battery and all the other stuff to go in because it's going to go outside. Because I'm going to see if I can utilise it to make some sort of, uh, well, 12 volt light system. And it's going to be outside and it's going to grow possibly some tomatoes. Might as well make use of it. Right, let's get cracking. Basically we've just got this multitude of lights here that I've cobbled together. Uh, I'm doing this as rough as possible. I'm actually deliberately doing it as rough as possible. Just tape and twist I'm not using proper connectors. I want anyone to do it. On anybody who hasn't got any sort of skill to do anything just to look all we need to do with any wires for bulbs or anything like that red positive black negative on a battery you've got plus positive black negative they've just got to go to that Join all the red ones together, join all the black ones together, so you've got two separate connections, positive, negative. If you've got one of these even better, then that will plug into here, the little 12 volt socket there, don't you can see it, I'll just bring that back to you, will you? into there, plug it in, and you've got lights, okay. Like I say, it's a mix match multitude of lights there. These are one watt LEDs, don't know how many. These are just lights that I've had lying about. And all it is is just to utilise that solar panel and this battery that have been sat for nearly, well, all year really because I've got other projects lined up, doing nothing. And I looked at it and I just thought the sun's blazing away outside and I want to grow tomatoes this year. And I haven't got enough room in the other one, so I'm going to grow them outside. So now I'm just going to secure all these together uh, and hook up to this battery via that. Well, it's already done, but I need to put this, the solar charge controller. I need to connect this from the solar, which is there, to the battery to stop that from being overcharged and blown up. Never charge a 100 watt, sorry, never connect a, a large solar panel to a battery without one of these. This tells that to stop putting power into this when it's full. It'll get drained when the lights come on via that timer. But if that didn't connect this to that, the battery would blow up in the summer completely blow it fry and it's dangerous okay so always they're about nine pound off ebay so now we're going to test just the solar panel which one's the positive wire and which one's a negative you know one of the best investments you can make a multimeter if you're going to do anything with solar or electrics you want a multimeter trust me because if you haven't it just makes it guesswork as to what you're doing right see that minus on there that means that's the positive which i've already marked i knew that and that's the negative so we swap around like that so we've got positive and negative and there we go there we go that's giving me off that solar panel now so i know it's given was it 6.5 volts yeah because it's in the house so we know that one's positive, so we connect that into the positive of there, like that. 
Okay. I don't believe you've just seen that. Hang on. Yeah, I think you have. Right, so here we have one of the digital 12 volt timer clocks. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to reset it. So basically this is an old one, it's got a wrong time and day and stuff on it. So we press that, which is a reset cancel. That'll come up. Okay. Then if we want to change the day, we go onto the clock and we press the D button. Now it's Saturday today. So there it comes up Saturday. When we press the, sorry, press the clock again, we press the hour button and it is four o'clock. So that is 1600, it's a 24 hour clock. You can have it 24 hour or 12, I think, I'm not sure. But it's bang on four o'clock, so we'll leave it at that. Now we have an auto or a manual there, which we can change via that. When it comes on there, when it comes on the auto again. So we're going to put a time in, which is program. So we press the program. I'm going to have it to come on at roughly seven o'clock at night and go off at nine o'clock at night. So I want to be program one, which is to come on. So I'm going to set the hour at, and this is going to be seven days a week. So it's all of them. So I'm leaving that as it is. Oh, I've skipped it. Sorry. I needed 19 there. I might actually do it. At, yeah, I'll just do it. At 19, seven o'clock program. That's off. Can you see this one? We want to be at say 21. Yeah. Nine o'clock will be okay for now. The nights are getting lighter, but I'll adjust this as it goes on. Okay. Then back to time. There we go. Saturday that you can check your program by pressing that coming on, going off. It goes to various programs you can do do multiple ones but i'm only doing them two times so now so you can set it on the morning you can set it on a night you can set it during the day you can set it hourly intervals look you've got 13 14 various ones okay just press the clock and it'll return to normal now it's on auto so i don't need to touch it now if i need to override it i'll press manual okay there we've got the charge controller the solar charge controller coming up so it's going from solar in plus and minus to the battery. So that solar panel now is charging. Well, it's not actually charging there. You can see there, it's not actually charging it yet. It won't do until it goes outside. But that's the battery level now. Uh, I've tested it with a voltmeter. The battery's 12 point something, uh, 12.5 or something or, or six. So it's quite low. Right now, these timers, how to connect up one of these, oh, upside down. Basically, I've just done it underneath there, as you can see. You've got to think of this as almost just a switch. So rather than have your plus, your positive and your minus going in, and your plus and minus coming out, it doesn't work like that. This is all positive. This is your switch. So you have your red positive going in. Okay. You have your black negative going in. But from this one, you need a loop. You need a positive loop going across there to that one there, which is the out. This is your switch. And then this is going out to your lights. Okay, down there. So this is what it's going to look like. You need that. I've made that up. So you've got your positive there with your positive loop going into there like that. So that's what it's going to look like. Okay. 
Now you take your battery positive and connect it to there on that one and this one is your negative. Right, so here we go, we finally got it sorted. Uh, so like I said, positive in, positive out, positive loop, negative. So the negative now is on that cigarette lighter socket, running into there. Now I just need to connect the positive, okay, onto the positive in now I've already set this up so the lights will come on I have it onto auto but I have it on the timer so that it's four o'clock and there we go right so there's the lights so that's how we're going to set it up and then when you press this switch manual you can turn it off and then we turn it back onto auto again and then when the time comes that will turn that off which will stop power to there okay and that's how we set these up there we've got the uh, the box there the solar now is charging the battery there's the lights Outside solar lights on a timer. Mm, they're waking up here. 